Eviction notices sent to more than a dozen tenants at a Tyler apartment complex, but those renters say they didn't do anything wrong. In fact, they blame an employee for this whole mess. Our Garali Jayswal has been working this story since this weekend. She joins us now with what she's learning. Renters say the issues began earlier this month when their leasing agent sent them a special offer. Half off their rent if they paid through the agent. And I went into the leasing office to talk to her more because I know that in this time of day there's a lot of scams going on. And I was like, hey, is this legit? Like, and she was like, yes, girl, trust me, I'm your leasing agent. Excited and relieved to be getting a discount, several residents took advantage of the offer. She ensured me that I would get a receipt and that I can go into my portable and see that she had paid the amount. I just checked my portal. I had a balance. And when I went back, it was zero. She sent me a picture of the receipt and everything. It was paid off. But things took a turn. Two weeks later, residents say they were hit with a double rent payment and a notice that they never paid. Yeah, I was trying to pay the balance later on. They told me that my portable was locked and that they that I couldn't pay my rent. And by Friday, I had the eviction notice to be out in three days, and there was nothing we could do to go in and pay it. They wouldn't let us. By law, the tenant uh, doesn't have to leave. It's just something to let that tenant know that the uh, property manager or the property owner is going to uh, follow through with an eviction process. Complicating matters, the eviction notice shown to me by residents states the tenants facing eviction violated their lease by committing fraud or theft. But the residents say they're actually the victims here. They have filed a police report against the leasing agent who has reportedly been fired. I know I wasn't going to get my money back. So I went to the police station. I pressed charges. Tyler PD says this investigation is still ongoing. According to Constable, the eviction has to be filed through the Justice of Peace office. And we will uh, go and serve uh, what you call a citation, letting the tenants know that the eviction process has, has started. We're serving them, and then that will be a court date. It has to take place after 10 days. We have reached out to the corporate office and leasing office at the Earl Campbell residencies, and they are not commenting at this time. Residents who got the eviction notice say they will be going to court to fight this. For now, reporting in Tyler, I'm Narali Jaiswal with CBS 19.